and welcome. What we're going to do in this particular short little video is show you how to thread up a simple hand sewing needle and we're also going to show you how to sew on a button on a shirt. Two very simple things but it's surprising how many people don't know how to do it. Now with, with threading up a needle there's basically two ways you can do it. You can buy these little instruments which will go through the eye of the needle and you put that through and then pull it. It's great, great little piece of kit is that. Or you can do it the way most people do who are in the sewing business. You just get a piece of thread, make sure it's got a nice sharp edge on it by cutting it. And the thing is, is not to have too long a tail. If you have a long tail, you haven't quite got the control that you need. So make a nice stubby trail so that it's stiffer and you have a bit more control. And make sure you put your hands together because it's surprising how many people shake. Just put your hands together and then just plain and simply slip it through like that. Now, okay, it's going to take a little bit of practice to get it as good as I've got it, but that's basically what you do. Now, we want to show you how to sew a button on a shirt. So basically, you need about 9 inches doubled over. It can be 10 inches, it can be 11 inches, but 9 is probably about right for a shirt. Double it over like that, put a knot in the end, Okay, take some of the, the tail off. Now, the thing you do with a shirt is this. Let's just put the needle out of the way for a moment. You, you'll find that on most shirts they have spare buttons and they have them down on the inside here. Or if they haven't got them there, where they will have them is on the, the end of the washing tag, which is just on the inside of the shirt here. So those are the two places they usually tend to hide them. If, they're, if it's a coat or a jacket, they tend to put them on the inside of a, a pocket as well. So that's another place to look for. But just use your unpicker and, and take the, sh the button off. And the other thing I do is I already know that the button goes there. And basically I could tell because there's little holes so that, that helps me. The other thing I would do is to get a needle and put that through. Now the reason you do that is that you want a little bit of a gap between the material and the needle. So push that through and push it through again. Because what I want you to do is to tie the ends off. Just there. Right, now push it through. Get your, your button and put your needle through your first hole and just hold it down like that okay now here's another thing you might wonder you know do I do a crisscross pattern or do I do it across so they're both straight and what I always do is I look and see how the manufacturer has done it on on the shirt and they've done it straight so it's not a crisscross pattern so do it like this and pull it through. Don't pull it too through too quickly because you'll find it'll tend to knot up. Now just hold the button like that. And you need to go through about five times. Now remember the actual button is held in place by the needle, so don't worry about it moving or anything. Make sure that's straight. There we go. Now I'm not going to go through as many times, but make sure you go through about five times. I've only gone through a couple, but this is for demonstration purposes only. Now Make sure, of course, when you put your needle through, make sure that it's not this end because you won't get it off. And that way you just pull it through. Pull your needle through like that. Then push it through this way. Okay. Just give it a little, little gentle pull and then wrap it round like this. 
what that does is it gives it a little shank it just moves it away from the material and it makes it a hundred times easier for you to actually button your shirt up so otherwise you can have a few problems doing that All right, and then the thing to do is you can just go into the actual where you've been winding it around just sew into it three times and that ties it off another way you can do it you can go to the you can go to the back and tie it off there if you want whatever suits and there you go basically you you've sewn the button on and it's, it'll be easy for you to button up